Hi guys, good morning and welcome to Full Time Devils Transfer Daily for you. I'm Adam McCullough, action packed transfer daily for you this morning. We start off with Ilkay Gundogan, the German midfielder from Borussia Dortmund, who apparently had agreed to join Manchester United about three or four weeks ago. It was in the press all over the place. Ilkay Gundogan signed for Manchester United and it's all gone very quiet on that front ever since. Bill, the German newspaper, are saying him and his agent they're favouring a move to Barcelona. They're prepared to wait another year so we can join them on a free. Barcelona obviously have their transfer ban in place. They can't register any players until January 2016, I think it is. Although they can still sign players, players can train with them. They can't actually play them until 2016 at the moment. So if Gundogan went there, he wouldn't be able to play any football. So it seems like he's happy to wait it out, leave on a free in the summer um, and go to Barcelona. Although Arsenal, Real and Manchester United are after him, it looks like he wants to make that move. Obviously, B-Win, we saw them tweet yesterday something about, is he on his way to Manchester United? <laughs> As an official club sponsor, everyone did get excited. They deleted the tweet, um, which maybe because they are a sponsor, they don't want to be seen to be mischievous in the transfer market. But it seems to be a ploy just to get some money through on their transfer market onto their rods. I think they had odds of like 5-1 to one or something on Gundogan joining United. Which means that it wasn't something that they foresee actually happening straight away. So let's throw that out the window. Gundogan to United could still happen, but it's looking ever more likely as the transfer window edges on. Moving on to Kareem Benzema, player that's been linked with United before. A player that you already know that I want to join Manchester United and become our new number 9. Um, United keep pushing for him. Um, the Telegraph are saying that we're still pushing for him in the move and the negotiations for David De Gea. Apparently they're offering something around £18 million. Pounds, um, something that we, we signed David De Gea for that. And we're trying to get a move that includes Benzema coming to Old Trafford. Real Madrid want to keep him. His agent and himself don't want to leave the Bernabeu. They want to stay there. Um, so it <laughs> looks like this one could keep dragging on um, along the summer um, to see if United can try and get him included in any deal for David De Gea. If I was United, I would do that. We, you know, we don't need 18 to 20 million. We don't need that money. Keep him, let him go in a three in a year's time. So what? If we can't get Benzema, can't have Dave. That's what how I would play it. anyway. Obviously, if you if you need an update on the David De Gea, um, then check out Harrison's video that he did yesterday as well, where he was talking about Ike Casillas potentially being on his way out at. Um, at Real Madrid, Marca today are saying though that he is still in contention for the goalkeeper jersey along with David De Gea and Kaylin Avas. So, as you are with that one then, maybe, maybe not. Moving on again, Schweinsteiger. Apparently Bayern Munich will only sell him if he wants to leave. He hasn't ruled out a move to Manchester United yet, although he hasn't really said a lot on whether he does want to leave Bayern Munich or not. Although a fresh start could be due for him. Schweinsteiger is a player that I'd love to see at Manchester United. Another man that's been talking, a man that's already a Manchester United player. I think he's got three and a half, four years left on his deal. Thanks, David Moyes. Nanny, he's been talking about returning to Manchester United. He wants to return to the club um, and challenge for a spot, fighting for trophies, that usual yada yada. He's been having the long goodbye with Sporting Lisbon. And it seems like he's open to a move. He's happy to come back to Manchester United, but he loves sporting. Keeping his keeping him keeping his options wide open. I need to put my teeth back in. Anyway, moving on to the final story of the day. And it's a man that I don't know a lot about, Rodrigo Dorado. It's a man from Brazilian <laughs> club. Sorry, I'm reading it up here. Anyway, he's a Brazilian midfielder that is apparently joining Manchester United. His agent has been talking to Tuto Mercato Webb. Some Italian website maybe. But it could be, I've been reading from Sports Witness, our friends there. Um, it could be a case that he's just trying to get other teams interested. His agent's been talking to this website so that they publish the story, get people interested in his player um, and get him to you know, a different team. But it looks like he's using Manchester United to fuel them rumours, fuel that fire, get him a bigger contract elsewhere. What do you know about Dorado? Is he a good player? Would he fit in at Manchester United? Am I stupid for not knowing what, who he is? Get the comments in below. Let us know what you think about all the rumours in today's Transfer Daily. Tomorrow we'll be back with more with Stephen Arson. I'm Adam McCola. I'm out of there.